sunny San Francisco at the 2010 WonderCon convention. About to go talk to the cast and crew of the Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. Prince of Persia is being released Memorial Day weekend. Hopefully we'll get an opportunity to talk to Jake Gyllenhaal, Mike Noel, Jordan Metzger, and of course, producer Jerry Buckheimer. Let's go. So we are here in what we like to call a media frenzy, waiting for the red carpet arrivals of the actors and directors and producers of The Prince of Persia, Sorcerer's Stone, and Toy Story 3. How do you think you did as far as depicting historical Persia for the film? Did a huge amount of research. Jordi, the, the uh, original writer both of the game and of the script, did an enormous amount of research. I then came along and in terms of the weaponry and the way that the army fought and what the cities looked like and what the religious denominations that were at work were. Did you know that the first people to invent the buttonhole were the Persians? Princess Tamina is a high priestess and she believes that her destiny is to protect the dagger of time. I've seen its power with my own eyes. Releasing the sand turns back time. Only the holder of the dagger is aware of what's happened. How did you do that? Only the dagger can unlock the sands of time. And there are those who would use this power to destroy the world. Time will erase everything. The only way to stop this Armageddon is for us to take the dagger to the secret guardian temple. So what is it about the 1001 Nights that inspired you to be able to write The Prince of Persia, the video game, and also go into the movie? Well, I think, you know, the game, the original game was inspired, you know, by movies like The 1940 Thief of Baghdad, and uh, it's, it had just been so long since uh, Hollywood has done a movie in that, in that world. I think it's such a fascinating and mysterious universe. It's kind of in our collective unconscious, so it's really exciting to me that, uh, that Prince of Persia has kind of be a vehicle to revisit that genre now. Such a noble prince, leaping to assist the fallen beauty. Who said you were a beauty? There must be a reason why you can't take your eyes off me. You're... I... How did it feel to play a Persian prince? Do you Have you uh, been to Iran before or Persia before? Do you have any friends, eaten the food? The interesting thing about this character is that he, in this story at least, is not actually a prince, like at the beginning, and he's just a, a kid off the street, and he's brought in by the king. So, you know, I think that, that kind of, I would say that I felt kind of different from, particularly because everyone on set was British, and I was one of the only Americans, I, I didn't really feel that way all the time, which I think added to the character, you know? Um, I didn't feel like a prince most of the time. I felt like I was a little bit of an outsider. And so, as a result, I think that's in the character. And so, that's how it felt. It's time. Give me the dagger! How did it feel to tackle one of the oldest empires, being the Persian Empire? How did it feel to produce that? It's great because you learn history, you know, through making movies. And in every film, I mean, we do an enormous amount of research and, you know, research the Persian Empire and the vastness of it. And it's a very exciting, very exciting period in history. Any challenges doing your research or that came up? No, no, no challenges. I mean, it's all written, it's all history. And we, you know, we try to, uh, to uh, give a good spin on it.